Hi everyone, I am Mrs. P. Sudha, Assistant Professor, Department of Economics, KSR Women's College. Now we talk about multiplier. The concept multiplier was first introduced by R. F. Khan in his article, The Relation of Human Investment to Unemployment in the Economic Journal in 1931. Kahn's multiplier was employment multiplier. Keynes took the idea from Kahn and formulated the investment multiplier. Meaning of investment multiplier. Keynes considered his theory of multiplier as an integral part of his theory of employment and multiplier. According to Keynes, uh, establish a price relationship given the propensity to consume between aggregate employment and income and the rate of interest. It tells us that when there is an increment of investment, income will increase by an amount which is k times the increment of investment that is delta y is equal to k delta i that is k is equal to delta y by delta i. Investment multiplier. The investment multiplier refers to the stimulate effects of public or private investment. It is rooted in the economic theories of Keynes. The extent of the investment multiplier depends on two factors. One is the marginal propensity to consume. Next one is marginal propensity to save. A higher investment multiplier suggests that the investment will have a larger stimulate effect on the economy. Limitations of multiplier. Time analysis. Keynes logical theory of multiplier is an instantaneous process, process without time lag. It is a timeless static equilibrium analysis in which the total effect of a change in investment on income is instantaneous so that consumption goods are produced simultaneously and consumption expenditure is also incurred simultaneously. Next one is worthless theoretical toy. According to Haslitt, the Keynes multiplier is a strange concept about which some Keynesian make more first than about anything else in the Keynesian system. It is a myth for that I can never buy any precious. Next one is acceleration effect ignored. One of the weakness of the multiplier theory is that it studies that effects of investment on income through changes in consumption expenditure, but it ignores the effect of consumption on investment which is known as acceleration principle. Next one is MPC does not remain constant. Gordon points out that the greatest weakness of the multiplier concept it is exclusively emphasis on consumer consumption. The he favors the use of the term marginal propensity to spend in place of marginal propensity to consume to make this concept more realistic. He also objects the, to the constancy of the marginal propensity to spend because in a dynamic economy it is not likely the remain constant if it is assumed to be the constant it is not possible. Next one is relation between consumption and income. Keynes multiplier theory establishes a linear relationship between consumption and income with the hypothesis that the MPC is less than 1 and greater than 0. Empirical studies of the behavior of consumption in relation to income shows that the relationship between M, the two is complicated and non-linear. Next one is leakages of multiplier. First one is paying of debts. Debts, debts cancellation. If a part of uh, increased income is used to, to repay the debts of banks instead of spending if for further consumption, the part of the income uh, peters of tough income steam. In case of this part of the Increased income is repaid to the creditors who save or hold it. The multiplier process will be arrested. Next one is holding of ideal cash balances. Net strong liquidity 
preference. If people prefer to hold the increased income in the form of ideal cash balances to satisfy a strong liquidity preference for the transaction uh, precautionary and speculative motive that will act as a leakage out of the income stream. Next one is imports. Net imports. If increased income is spent on the purchase of imported goods act as a leakage out of the domestic income stream. Next one is taxation. Taxation policy is also an important factor in weakening the multiplier process. Progressive taxes have the effect of lowering the disposable income of the taxpayers and reducing their consumption expenditure. Next one is increase in prices. That means price inflation. When increased investment leads to price inflation, the 